Hey guys, Jimer from Mission DJ here, here to tell you about a solution that I have for connecting your DJM S9 Pioneer Battle Mixer to a brand new MacBook Pro High Sierra with Touch Bar. Super exciting stuff because I wasn't able to DJ on my brand new MacBook for like two months because of this issue. So after talking with Serato and looking on forums and all that jazz, finally figured out a workaround, which I'll get to at, towards the end of this video. But let me tell you my, uh, my situation first. So I actually had to upgrade out of necessity um, because my older laptop was kind of failing on me. It was restarting randomly. So that's pretty dangerous if you're doing live gigs. You definitely don't want that. I didn't want to invest the money into it because it's older. I'd rather just invest in a brand new laptop. And I took the risk. I went with High Sierra. Um, a lot of people in the community aren't doing that right now for good reason, but um, um, I'm glad I, I took that risk because uh, there's a reward now. And I'm gonna share that reward with you. So what was happening is I would connect my DJM S9 to the MacBook Pro with High Sierra and the touch bar, and it would work the first time, okay? Only the first time. So I would have a great session, mix for like an hour or whatever, and then do what I normally do, which is disconnect either the software, the USB, or turn off the, uh, the S9 mixer. I would go do my thing, come back for another practice session, and then it would not connect for the life of me. It, I tried everything. Went into setup, um, prayed, and um, yeah, it just, it just didn't work. So uh, after a couple times of trying to troubleshoot that, um, from my own brain, which did not work. I went online, went on some forums, and uh, found some things. Not exactly what I needed though. So most of what is out there today are a few articles uh, w describing the issue with High Sierra um, as a, a simple solution of updating drivers, updating firmware, and going into the, your security settings and making sure that Pioneer DJ is actually, you're allowing it to load. Um, so that is all well and good for some hardware, but it's not good for your S9 because none of that, I mean, that that's what you need. You need to update your driver, you need to update your firmware, but that's not the end all solution. And it wasn't obvious at first what it was. So um, I'll give you an example of, of how this works with other High Sierra um, compatibility issues. One of my students recently was trying to connect his High Sierra to his DDJ SR controller. And again, he had his driver updated, his firmware updated. Um, but uh, the last thing he had to do, and this was the end all solution for this particular setup, was go into security and privacy settings within his OS and then allow system software from developer Pioneer DJ Corporation was blocked from loading. You just need to allow that. So it's gonna say that on the bottom of the, of the panel and you should be good to go after that. But again, with the S9, it's not so clear. So after battling on some forums, as we all have experience with, um, I was contacting Serato left and right and we finally agreed to do a team viewer uh, session on my computer so that Serato themselves can look at my computer and see that all this stuff was actually on there, which it was. Once they figured that out, they were actually kind of stumped. So um, it was kind of awkward. It was like, okay, be right back. So the guy brought his superior and uh, his superior uh, sent him an article, which he then sent me. This is an article I did not find. I couldn't find. I don't know why it was hidden from me. I guess I was Googling the wrong things, but uh, basically it, it touches on touch bar specific configurations, okay? So um, within the article, which I will include in the notes below, it has a workaround, which is as simple as this, this bad boy right here. What this is, is a Belkin USB hub, a powered USB hub, this one specifically is Belkin USB 2.0 four port mobile powered hub. And the reason I have this is it's good for other setups too, 
Um, specifically, if you're DJing in HID mode within the club or the bar, you need to connect to your SL4 box, a Serato box, connect to your laptop, your mixer, everything, so you need multiple USBs. Um, for whatever reason, if you connect this to the USB-C port adapter, obviously you need an adapter, and then connect it to your DJI MS9, it works. So don't ask me how or why or like the technical aspects of it, but uh, my theory is, you know, the touch bar just doesn't communicate well with the USB-C port, which then is trying to go to another older USB port on the other end. So this is like a little happy medium that allows for all the devices to talk together. Um, so all you need to do is you do need the adapter, USB-C adapter to connect to your MacBook Pro, which can then connect to a regular USB, which is connected to USB port powered hub. And then you connect your DJM S9 to this bad boy. And then it works. And I tried everything, uh, rebooting wise, restarting wise, it all works. So I'm super stoked. I hope this helps you. And uh, let me know in the comments if uh, you've had success or if you're still struggling and I'll do my best to walk you through it. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe. Have a great day. Happy DJing.